Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I have a very special video. Today we are going to learn how to set up a throttle cap. There's a lot of reasons why one might use a throttle cap. If you're a racer and you're on a very tight track, you might need one because your quad's got too much power. Two, if you're a freestyle pilot and you're learning new tricks or maybe you're smoking ESCs, whatever the reason is, throttle caps are good to have and you don't have to use them. That's why we set them up on a switch or on a knob and then you're able to control them and you're able to utilize them only when you need them. There's also a way to set a throttle cap in the CLI command if you're running beta flight and I will go ahead and link that in too so that you know how to do that as well. There are videos out on how to do throttle caps but they're not showing you how to do it on a switch and I want it on a switch because what if I don't want to use it or what if I take off and I realize I do want to use it. I can just flick a switch and begin to use it. So we're going to call this the ultimate guide to a throttle cap. Oh yeah, that was the right switch. Switch warning. Oh, do that again. Alright pilots, go ahead and shoot down to the video description. Down there I'm going to have a timestamp on all the different ways you can do this just in case you're looking for a specific way. So let's start off with the first one. Go ahead and go to menu, go to page, and head over to your mixer. Go to your throttle, hold down enter, press edit. And we are going to go right here to our weight and our offset. So one of the first things you need to know is how much you're trying to cap your throttle. So for this way, you would just press this and let's go to... Okay, so we are going to put a throttle cap of 80 for this method right here. Keep in mind, you've got to equal 100. So I'm going to head down to offset and I'm going to head down to 20, negative 20. So that is going to give me a range of motion on my throttle of 80%. So I'm going to go ahead and press exit, exit, exit. And if I page over, you'll see here when I go to full throttle, don't be alarmed that that says 60. It's working off of old servos and percentages. It's got nothing to do with us. This is 80%. So that right there is a very basic, easy way to cap your throttle. And what you can do with this now is you're set. You can go out to the field and that's all you're going to get. And it's as easy as that if you'd want to change it. So you get out in the field and you realize that you don't want to be at 80. You want to be at 75. So you would edit this and you would just change the difference. So let's go down to 75 and then we would just change this to 25. So there you go. You now have a 75% throttle cap. It's literally that simple. Okay, so that is your first and most basic way to set up a throttle cap. Now we are going to go ahead and we are going to set one up on a switch. So we have a three position switch here. One, two, three. We want to go ahead and have this switch control our throttle cap. So let's go ahead and say when it's here, we're going to be at 70%. 80%, 100%. Okay, so the second method is a little bit different. Go ahead and head into your menu and head over to inputs. In inputs, you're going to go to your throttle. Your throttle might be on a different switch if you're not running mode 2. Go ahead and hold down enter and press edit. I want you to head down to your switch and you're going to add a switch. So we are going to make this switch in the upward position our throttle is full and regular and normal. And you're going to go back out and you're going to hold down and instead of pressing edit, you're going to insert after. Down here we would like to go here and we're going to change this to 80. Depending on your value, if you're running a different value, that's okay. Feel free to do whatever. You don't have to run 70, 80, 100, I mean 70, 80, 100 like we are or I am. So after you've done that, then head down to switch and let's go to the middle position. So that is where we will set that. And then we are going to go back and we are going to insert after again. And this time we are going to go down to 70. By now you might be getting the idea of how all this works and then you can just use your imagination and go from here. It's really not too difficult. Okay, and then let's change switch and feel free to use 
any switch your heart desires. You do not have to follow the switch like I am. You can see the values here working. So now if we exit and we go all the way out, let's head over to our channels monitor page. You can see here in the full switch, I am in the field and I want full power. You can see my full range of motion on my throttle, yeah? Okay. Well, this quad is driving a little erratically. Let me slow it down to 80%. So you will see, we now have 80% of our throttle. And if it's still a bit much and we want to head down to 70%, you will see here, we only have 70% of our throttle value. So you can see how this is working and how you can assign it to a switch. All right, pilot. so in the third way, we are going to set it to a potentiometer. You're welcome to use any one that you would like. It doesn't matter. You can use this one, this one, that one, all of them. You can do whatever you want to do. So what you need to do is you need to hit menu, head over to your mixer. In your mixer, go ahead and hold down enter and hit insert after. Once you've done that, go to your weight. And your weight needs to be 25. And your offset needs to be 75. Now it's easy to get confused as to whether you need a minus or not, so make sure you don't do that in this one. Make sure you're positive 25 and positive 75 as your offset. Okay, so the reason I have selected this is because if we're going to use this potentiometer and this is going to be 100% throttle and this is going to be 0% throttle, at what point would you be flying at 0% throttle? And what that means is you are full throttle, 0%. You would never fly like that. So there's no need for that. To give an, uh, kind of like a middle ground, I went ahead and did 50%. So at 50%, you'll be here. At 100%, you'll be here. So that gives you the full range to go 90, 80, 70, 60, and 50. So that's pretty sweet. So now head down to your multiplex and change that to multiply. Head back up and you need to decide which switch or which potentiometer you're going to use. So change your source, press enter, and I'm going to move this and it will recognize which one I'm using. So go ahead and press exit, exit, and then we are going to go back to this same one and we're going to press enter and we're going to hit insert after. And at this point, your weight needs to be 25. And your offset needs to be minus 25. Oh. Boom. And then also make sure your source is matching. Boom. There it is. Do not touch your multiplex. Leave it on add. So let's go ahead and press exit, exit, exit. If we go ahead and head over to our channel monitor. Right here we can go ahead and play with this. So put it up at full 100, and you'll see that our throttle is at a full 100. If we drop it down to, let's say, like 70 or 80, and there's no way to be 100% sure, but there it is, 70 or 80. That looks like about 83. So I can, if I want to know before I fly, and this is just a quick little tip, before you fly, before you take off, you want to know what percentage you're in, Go ahead and put your throttle to the max all the way and then use your potentiometer to choose. So at this point I would select 6480. So I am now, ooh, that's tough to use. All right, so I am now at 80% throttle. So I can go ahead and take off and fly and I know that when I'm here, I'm at 80%. This is gonna give you that full range of motion. So you have full and complete control of your quad without having that top end. So you're not gonna be out of control or all over the place. This is also a part of the playlist. We are running the Tyrannus playlist. We are learning all about our Tyrannus. We're setting it up and we're doing really cool things. So if you're looking for the playlist, it'll have that logo right there. If you're new to this playlist, go down to the video description and check it out. Okay, so that is three different ways to set up a throttle cap. One thing I want to do is, I don't know if we would call it number four, but we're going to set up one more parameter with this, 
And what that's going to be is we are going to assign this to a switch. So when we turn this switch off or on, whatever we decide, this won't even mean anything. We'll just be at regular throttle. We don't want to mess with the throttle cap today. Turn it off if that's your off. Say, bam, I'm not messing with it. Let's go fly. And then, hey, I do want to mess with it. Flick your switch and control it just like that. And you can do this mid-flight. So let's go ahead and do that. Head over to your mixer and press edit and just head down to your switch and choose the switch you would like. So we are going to say this one. And then we are going to do it to this one too. You've got to do it for both and you got to make sure you've selected the same exact position or else it's not going to work. All right, so now if we head over to our channel monitor, in here you can see that with this switch in this position, my pod will work. See that? I can go from 100% to 50%. If I flick this switch off, well now my pod, my potentiometer, my throttle cap does nothing. It only works at full 100%. So we now have it on a switch. Boom, we're good, we're out, we're flying. Well, hey, I wanna kick it on. Bam, and then I can control how much of it through here. There is another way to do it, and I'm gonna show you that in beta flight. All right, pilots, we are now gonna go over to the CLI portion of setting a throttle cap. You can come to the CLI command and you can set a throttle cap. As you see here, we do not have one. You see we have the options to scale it, clip it, and then set a percentage. If you clip your throttle, what you're going to do is you are gonna take away the range of motion that'll be there. So clipping it is not gonna be smooth at all whatsoever if you scale it so you can set it to scale and then you can drop it down to about 80 percent 75 90 whatever you're going for and you're going to get the same results that you would if you went ahead and did it in the tyrannus like i showed you earlier everybody's going to want to set this up their own way and the ways that i'm showing you are not limited to those there are lots of ways to do this there are plenty of videos on how to do this as well, but they are not going to show you what I'm about to show you. I'm going to show you how to set a throttle cap, scale it or clip it, and then put it on a switch. Hold on to your seat. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into doing this. Let's go ahead and head over to PID tuning. All right, so in order for this to work, the very first thing you need to do is set up adjustments. But before we do that, I'm going to make this one of the options, and that's to do it in the CLI. And I want to show the guys that just want to do it in the CLI. They don't want it on a switch. I'm going to show you how to do that. First, you need to set your throttle limit type. If you're wanting to clip it, that's fine. Go ahead and clip it. If you want to scale it, go ahead and type scale. I am going to recommend scaling it. Once you scale it, now what you're doing is you're taking that range of motion and you're stretching it out so that your entire throttle movement will just be the percentage that you pick. So we're going to go with scale. Then we are going to set throttle limit percent to, let's say, 80%. So now we have set it to scale and we have set it to 80%. Let's hit save. So there you go. You have you set it up. You're done. That's all you got to do. Now, if you want to change that at any point in time, you just come into the CLI and then you would say set throttle limit percent equals 75. There you go. Now this is set at 75 percent. That means if you've got a Speedy B, which has a CLI out in the field, you can do this. If you brought your laptop, as simple as the CLI command, a couple words in there, and you've got a new percentage for your throttle cap. Now we're going to learn how to go ahead and put this on a switch. So what you need to do is, 
you need to head over to adjustments and you need to assign a switch go to your inputs in your mixers and assign a switch on your Tyrannus if you don't know how to do that I'm gonna link a video for it down in the video description once you have done that you are going to enable it then you are going to pick the auxiliary that it's on we're gonna assume that it's on too we will stretch this and we will apply the changes of our rate profile selection and then use slot one and your aux is whatever your aux is these two should be the same so if it's aux two it's aux two then you're going to come in here and you're going to set a second one so on that same switch aux two when it is selected you are going to select your rate profile boom slot one and aux two again slot one is going to change to slot two now you need to set this up with your switch so when it's in one position it's here and when it's in the next position it's here so that way as you move that switch you are going to jump back and forth from these two rate profile selections and feel free to set more if you'd like once you have done that you would hit save now you've set your rate profiles to a switch so if we head over to pig tuning we have more than one rate profile here so the very first one which is rate profile one we have already set to 75%. So now we are going to go to rate profile two. We will hit save. Then we're going to head down to the CLI and we are going to change this. Now we've set our type to scale. Our other one is on 75%, so I would like to set this one to 85%. And now we've got a switch that will take us from 85 to 75. You might want to set up at least a third profile to have 100. That way you have the option to not use it if you don't want it. After you've done that, make sure you hit save. And you have just set that up to on a switch using the CLI command and using your rate profiles, you can switch your throttle cap from 75 to 85. And we'll confirm that to be true by coming into the pin tuning tab. We will go to rate profile one. I will hit save and I will go to CLI and I'll write get throttle limit. You can see here, oh, we set this one on 80. So you can see here that we are at 80%. If I leave and I go back in and I change this to two, remember the other one, the other one was on 80. So let's see what this one's on. I think we set it. We set this one on 85. So we have 80 and 85. And we just proved it to be true by using the CLI. All right, pilots, we just went ahead and we rolled through the ultimate guide to setting a throttle cap. So now if you guys are trying to set a throttle cap, you are a pro. And you have the option to set it any which way you want. I've given you a bunch of different options. Pick the one that works best for you. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one.